So what is the different, difference between agent-based and agentless monitoring? So the difference is very easy. I'm like, in one of them, you basically, like I said, CPU memory core dumps. You don't need to put anything, any agent to be able to do it. Most of the times our systems uh, that already exist emit those metrics automatically. There's nothing extra that you have to do. Agent-based monitoring are much deeper. You actually put an agent and you integrate it with an SDK that can give you much deeper insights. For example, for application performance monitoring, uh, you can have uh, a passive monitoring system that looks at DOM objects and say, what's the page load time, what's this, what's that, versus you can integrate a small, uh, small piece of code and that can actually see how long is it taking and uh, uh, the second order detail of how, which part of the TCP connection is taking longer and so forth. That you can't do just by passively looking at people's connections coming into your, uh, your application. Similarly, if you go to the uh, operational side, I mean, like if you wanna if you wanna expose some metrics that are not, for example, number of file descriptors on in your what's the number of file descriptors? You gotta have some agent that can actually collect the system state and then emit it as a metric into your metrics backend that you could actually allow them on. So the difference is, I think, uh, how far you wanna go with this, but more importantly, how much friction do you have of inserting an agent-based solution versus a agentless solution? I'm a big fan of agentless solutions, but they only get you so far. So there is a point where you have to go with an agent and over there then you have to make a decision of which one is the right one for you.